All right, guys, it's time to get honest. So a few weeks ago, I got a message from the footwear care, which is these people. They are a UK based paints and supply company. They make leather acrylic paints. They sell all the supplies that a customizer and a restoration artist, is that what you call them? People that restore shoes would want. So they got in touch with me and pretty much offered to give me some paints to try. Um, I was like, yeah, I'm down for trying it. Obviously, I'm stuck in my ways. Like, I started customising using Angulus paints and I just, I'm just so used to them that I'm kind of scared to try any others. So they're like, you know what, we just send, we'll send you some, try them out and let us know what you think. So that's what happened. They sent me six little bottles of paints now i say little because they look tiny right they look so small but then i realized that comparing them to my angles direct paints the bottle is actually slightly bigger so there's more paints than these ones i wish i could have picked the colors that i that got sent i mean i would i would use these colors but there's other colors that they sell on their side that i was like oh that is my kind of color you know they did also let me know that they're coming out with a whole new range of colors also so that should be really really good on first glance like i said i thought that the paints were quite small but let me compare them to my angles direct ones angles direct are just like fatter um but technically the bottle contains more in this one so as you can see let's compare them side by side they do also sell bigger bottles like the angles ones but i think their bigger bottles are smaller because i remember checking on their website their bigger bottles are actually smaller than the angles direct ones um but it's not like a drastic amount you know they also sent me a thinner which is also really good for airbrushing i've been using this airbrush thinner but I'm totally down to switch it to this. Like I have no affiliations, I have no links. Like I don't, I'm not like, oh, this airbrush thinner is my life, no. So I don't really mind, we can, we can get rid of this right now. I don't mind switching to this one. So I will test this out probably in a completely different video because I don't think I'm going to need to use the airbrush for this custom, but they sent me an airbrush thinner. They also sent me a finished gloss, which is like the um, acrylic finisher, I guess. Yeah, so it's a gloss acrylic finisher. So we will test this one out as well and see how this one is. I'm gonna test these out on a fresh pair of Air Force Ones and I will let you guys know what I think about them, the application of them, how many layers I've got to do with them, all that kind of thing. And obviously we're gonna test to see how durable they are. It feels quite liquidy. Feels a lot <laughs> very liquidy, but we that could be fine. So this is basically the first layer. I need to still paint up here, but as you can probably can you tell that it I mean it's okay. I'm kind of just used to more of a thicker coverage. It just feels a bit more watered down and that I'll need a lot more layers. So this is the third coat. I'm thinking I'm gonna go for a fourth or possibly even a fifth guys. Possibly even a fifth because there's still a bit of patches around it's not completely even. So I'm gonna go for maybe one or two more coats and see what happens. The more coats I do, the more I actually like this color. So this is the coverage after four coats and I I think it's safe to say it's pretty much covered. The swoosh I was going to do with black and it's so watery. If I was using an airbrush then fine, I think I'd be okay with that. One thing I must mention is that the paint is quite matte compared to what I'm used to with the Angulus. The Angulus has a kind of shine to it and um, this one more so looks like a factory finish. It looks like I bought the shoe with this paint on it which for some people they might prefer it that way i think i'm just used to it with a little bit of a sheen but they have got a gloss finisher which i guess will add that sheen back to it um and another thing that i must point out is that i've had to do two coats with a black yeah that's what i'm not a big fan of because when i come to decorating like this bit and this bit and all of the rest of the shoe i like to just do one line at a time and not have to go back on it and I think that comes from it being so thin that you have to keep going back over it. 
which is something that I'm not looking forward to so I guess we'll see how that goes and what I end up doing with that but yeah so far it's okay I was testing it by scratching it as well and it does seem pretty durable there's not much happening when I do scratch it so that bit's good it's just a bit more time consuming and that's what we more so want to save we want to save time when it comes to customizing if I used an airbrush this would have been covered a lot quicker and it probably wouldn't have been such a problem but because I tend to use paint brushes <laughs> yeah doing multiple coats like this isn't ideal quite a matte finish so I'm going to use this finishing gloss to see what happens oh thing is to see what difference it makes okay I am back I am back I am back and the shoes are done guys I know I was kind of skeptical okay I started this custom off feeling skeptical about the paints because obviously I'm so used to using Angler's paints like I've said before that when they approached me and sent me some paints I was like I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna like them. I don't really wanna try anything new, especially on a pair of shoes. You know, they're not cheap to paint on shoes. <laughs> so um, I'm glad, guys, at the end of all of this, I am glad that I actually tried them out and that they hit me up, guys. Thank you for hitting me up because I'm talking like I'm being mad, ungrateful. I'm grateful for you guys hitting me up and sending me some paints because look at the customs. Just, just, just look at them like oh my god so basically as you guys probably saw in the video when I first tried it out I was mad at the fact that I had to do like it ended up being like five or six layers of paint like coats of paint for this pink section and I was hell I was like is this really worth it and then it looked matte and I was not used to any paint looking matte because Angler's paints um, are very glossy and I'm not the kind of person who bought Dollar and put it in the paint and wanted it to have that kind of factory look like that wasn't something I was aiming for so it never was a thing where I was like oh I want matte paints but I know there's people out there now I know that there's people out there that actually like want paints that are matte because they go out there they buy the dollar they add it into the angler's paint and they try to achieve that look so if you're that kind of person who wants matte paints 100 percent the footwear care is the kind of paints you want um i'm not too sure how far they ship i know they ship within the eu but i don't know if they ship like to the us for example or anything like that yeah maybe check out on their website or something obviously all the links are going to be in the description down below but i must say that i am incredibly happy with the way that these turned out even though it took me a bit longer than they should have i mean it took me a few days to do it but in terms of the fact that i needed to go over some of the black for example like i've never had to go over um do multiple coats of black before so that was something that i was a bit like mm, it's wasting my time a bit but the end result i'm really happy with even with the gloss finisher i didn't add like a super glossy effect i mean i don't 
I can't really tell the difference. It is glossier because I added the gloss finisher. If I had just left it matte, it may have looked different and maybe they have a matte finish, I'm not too sure. They are releasing a new range. I believe it's a pearlescent range because they post something on their Instagram. But they have got loads of colours on their website already. And, it, and they're releasing a new um, range of colours, so that should be super exciting. I, I will definitely use their paints in the future. Like, I, I ain't mad. I am not mad. Apart from the fact that it takes longer. But if I was to use my airbrush, for example, it wouldn't take as long. I know at the start I was like, and nah, 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 nah. but by the end of it, I think they've kind of converted me. And guys, let me know what you think about this custom down below. And I will see you guys next time. Show love.